Hello everyone, today I would like to talk about a new interface for stable diffusion and this is Forge UI. Actually it's not really a new interface but it's obviously new when compared to Automatic 11.11 and ConfUI for example. But I see that there are still some questions around it, so I would like to go through what it is, its main characteristics and how to install it. I'm not gonna go into many details on how to install it because I've seen that there are lots of videos around it, but I would like to talk about the Mac users and the alternatives for Mac users, like Colab, for example. So what for GUI? Let's start from the basic. So Stable Diffusion is a model and it's made of coding, right? So in order to generate images, videos with Stable Diffusion, we would need to code if we didn't have an interface. So that's what Forge UI is and what Automatic 11, 11 and ConfUI, for example, are. And there are also many other interfaces. So they allow us to generate images in an easier way than just coding and uh, allows us also to add extensions, so additional tools and models inside the stable diffusion model in order to run it. Now, for UI stands out for its user-friendly design when compared to ConfUI, of course, because it's very similar to Automatic 11.11. And its main goal is to streamline the development process, focusing on speeding up operations without compromising the quality of the output, so of, of the generated image. So said that, I hope now it's a bit clearer what for UI is. You can have a look at their main GitHub page if you want to have more detailed information about the optimization process. They are actually giving you all of the details and also giving you some examples of time taken for generating images and so on and so forth. Now, it's true that using for UI is more efficient and uh, quicker than using the other interfaces. However, is this true for Mac users? And the answer, unfortunately, is not. Stable diffusion is still a big model because we, that's what we are still talking about, stable diffusion. A big model and requires an NVIDIA GPU supported computer. And this will be the case for a Windows or Linux. It's not the case for the Mac. So that's why Mac users still need to opt out for other solutions like external GPU. And in that case, I'm talking about um, Google Colab, Rumpod, Bust AI, Paper Space, and there are plenty around. Said that, let's go into the installation process. As I said before, I don't want to go into many details. There are so many videos on YouTube on how to install it on Windows. And uh, if you go into GitHub as well, there is, a, there is actually a section called Installing Forge, where if you are familiar with coding, you can install it by yourself. You just need to git clone the repo into your computer, and then you need to install requirements and then run the um, main web UI file. If you're not familiar with the terminal and with coding in general, you can uh, choose for the one-click package. So you just need to download the package, unpack, and then run one file, if I'm not wrong. Anyway, again, there are plenty of videos around. If you have any questions, please ask. I'm happy to answer any questions about it, but you should find any answer in those videos or in the GitHub page. If you're a Mac user and you still want to try to install Forge UI into your Mac, you can try it. Uh, the process is exactly the same as for Windows. So you need to git clone the repo and then you need to install the requirements and then run the web UI. Actually, you can follow the same process for installing Stable Diffusion um, Automatic 11.11. I did run it on my Mac M1. I just <laughs> wanted to test it and it took around eight minutes to run one image a very simple 512 by 512 image. So, well, it's true that it's an M1, but, um, and if you have a more powerful Mac, probably will take less, but still it's not gonna take a few seconds, which is what you want when you're running stable diffusion. Something that can be instead useful for Mac user is to go through together the notebook on Google Colab 
for running for GUI. I have Cola Pro and um, I think that you will need a GPU for it, running it. So you have 100 units uh, available monthly, but I'm not sure that these are enough for running it. So you probably need to upgrade to Google Cola Pro. And then in that case, you will need to change your runtime type. So you go into runtime, then change runtime to V100 GPU or A100 GPU. This is cheaper, but I think it's still efficient. So I'm going to go with that and then you save. This is my notebook. I'm going to share the link to it. It's a very simple notebook, uh, doesn't have much coding in it, uh, probably requires more. And um, I find it efficient. Well, it actually works, but I'm sure that it can be improved. So if you have any comments, if you have any way of improving it, please share. Uh, they are more than welcome. So. What you have to do for the first time, you can simply run all. So runtime run all. So this will automatically run all of the coding. It's going to first mount to Google Drive. You can also choose not to mount to Google Drive, obviously, but I find it more useful because uh, you keep your output all the time. If you don't do that, uh, it's going to connect to another computer all the time. You start the notebook is going to connect to a different computer. So I would recommend in that case to download all of the outputs. You need to connect. You choose your email you want to connect to your Google Drive. Then it's going to into my drive inside Google Drive. It's going to git clone the repo. It's going then to install the requirements it's quick for me because i did it already and then it's going to initialize stable diffusion by launching this uh, this file and then it's going to initialize stable diffusion this file is uh, is quite good because it first updates so if you have already stable diffusion it's going to update it if you don't have it it's going to install it the downside is that every time it's going to install some requirements uh, needed, like clip uh, in this case. So the first time you will run it, it will take a little bit longer, but then afterwards it will take a few seconds. It's going to be super quick. I mean, if you are in the same runtime, obviously. In the meantime, I would like to show you if I go into my drive, you will see that there is a new folder inside your my drive which is called stable diffusion web ui forge where you have all of the folders so in here you can add your models and you can download your output so i have some from yesterday and some days before now, this is taking its time today for some reason. Maybe my connection is not the best. Yeah, as you can see, it's installing actually clip, open clip, and then all of the requirements. These are exactly the steps anyway that you do when you install it locally. The first time always takes a little bit of time. While we wait for this to initialize, I would like to give kudos to this guy. I, I found the, actually the code from this discussion panel where he's, uh, he was suggesting this code, which is wor was working for him. I tried it and it was working for me as well. The only thing I, will, I want to underline, and if you have any suggestion about this, uh, it's uh, again, um, more than welcome, is that he's using this share flag and this doesn't allow you to use extensions within Forge UI to look for updates or to install new extensions. What you will have to do, you will have to add a flag in here, which is this enable insecure extension access. This is not very recommended because in reality, the reason why these uh, extensions were not working without this flag is that it's a kind of protection for the code you are running on Google Colab. So using this new flag, you are going around this protection, which is not great, obviously. Okay, this is finally done. You have two URLs. The URL which is working is this one, and it works because we are using this share flag. So if you click on that, you will be redirected into Gradio and for UI, of course, and you will see the main interface. So I'm just gonna type something very quick to show you that it's actually working. Portrait of a woman, I'm going to generate. 
and here you go. Now, if you go into your drive and you refresh, you have a new folder and you can see the image I just generated. Now let's uh, close this and let's assume that, let me stop this, so you want to rerun this code, right? So if it's the first time, again, you need to run all of it. If it's not the first time, obviously you don't have to rerun everything, but you will just need to rerun the mount to Google Drive if you want to obviously connect Google Colab to your drive. You will have to access my drive. You don't have to clone the Forg UI repo anymore. You don't have to install requirements anymore. And you will have uh, only to run this initialize stable diffusion. It may take a little while if you are opening a new notebook with a new runtime. If you need to rerun it, like in my case now, let's try. I'm gonna show you that it doesn't actually take long. And as you can see, I get straight away my new URL. Okay, so that's it for today. You can find this notebook if you are interested into it in the description of the video. I hope this was useful. Thank you very much for watching and see you at the next video. Bye.